Now, your latest headlines and most accurate forecast from 41 Action News. I'm Cynthia Newsom. This is a 41 Action News update. An effort to delay the first day of school in Kansas until after Labor Day failed at the State Board of Education. The vote was five to five. The order needed a majority vote from the board in order to take effect. A separate order requires schools to follow certain mitigation strategies, though. That order requires face masks, physical distancing, proper hygiene, and daily temperature checks. That order was not under review by the state board. Now, the Kansas City public school system in Missouri will meet today to go over its reopening plan. Yesterday, Mayor Quentin Lucas and the health department recommended that students should start after Labor Day. Now, other recommendations included things like assigned seats on buses and wearing a mask in public spaces on school grounds. The city also asked youth sports leagues to not host any large tournaments until after school starts. Well, police have arrested two people in connection with a deadly shooting at 26 and Van Brunt that killed a pregnant woman. The 20-year-old victim was killed outside a gas station while she pushed her child in a stroller. Thankfully, that child was not hurt. The woman died, though. Charges could come this afternoon. We'll keep following the story for you. Your weather is next. Hey, Cynthia, we're having a little shift in the weather pattern today, tomorrow and Friday. Temperatures getting close to 90 and just a chance of isolated thunderstorms as opposed to the more widespread rain and thunderstorms. And then over the weekend, it's going to heat up 93, 94. But just as it's about to become a heat wave and get hot, a cold front arrives next Monday into Tuesday, and that will drop temperatures into 80s and lows around 70 with increasing chances for thunderstorms. So looking pretty good there. You can get your news and weather anytime on KSHP.com.